From Nairobi, Kenya, you're listening to the Kuza Podcast. Brought to you by kuza.com. Welcome everybody, welcome to Kuza Podcast. We are very excited to have you today. Welcome to the end of the month of March and we are looking forward to having more conversations in the second quarter of the year. God has been amazing, amazingly good. Now, I hope you've actually noticed if you've downloaded the app that we have our Easter devotions out. Yes, please go to that app, check it out. The Easter devotions are out. You should already have started during this Lent season and all those things that we do. And so get that thing read it and share with your friends and in case you're listening for the first time and you go to your phone download the kuza app definitely check it out put it in your phone there or see delete because it is actually free data usage you do not need to use bundles after you have it in your phone so tafa dali download it and get going visit us on www.kuzaapp.com and check out many blogs and podcasts and videos and everything that you're doing and the best part about this app that just gets everybody excited is that even if you don't know how to type the www on your computer as long as you have the app you have everything that we have you have the blogs you have the podcast all in the app and so Tafadali, take your time and download in the meantime my name is mavo wapolin or rev mavo of mavo me mavo akuza mavo podcast and we are really happy to see you guys and have an amazing people today to have a conversation of something that is very hot why like mwaki now we are conversing this on masturbation parental guidance is advice so if you have somebody a kid probably that you think they, they don't need to listen to some things well we are going to be kind of kidogo straightforward on some of these conversations because it affects the church and many of us today and with me i have a cast today and yes there is a lady with us as well and so for the sake of you know just being respect full uh, and okay. <laughs> honorable <laughs> i will allow you to introduce yourself before these guys do because yeah they are they are used to introducing themselves first so, uh, but yeah okay mm. thank you welcome my name is isla mm-hmm. okot and i am uh an editor kuza mm-hmm. glad to be here all right in a while but then i'm glad i'm back isla okot now i want to throw a challenge to you guys by the way isla spell the name isla oh uh i s l a all right how do you how would you read that in your own i mean if you didn't hear her saying isla just send us a video uh, an audio or something i don't even know where, where you'll send it but how would you read that name isla is well, either somebody taking us for a ride or something here yeah, isla mm-hmm. isla is i l a well many have called me isla, isla many have called me they see it written they call it isla they don't see it written they Call me Aila. Aila. Like the coastal way of yeah, doing yeah. it. So. I'm fine. Aila, I'm fine. Aila, I'm fine. I'm fine. Hi, Abbasman. Thank you so much, Aila. Nice to have you here today. Yeah. And we have uh, the only one. Matthew Elmore, um, also known as Mayolo Guy. Mayolo Guy. Oh. Mhm. Do you know what Mayolo means? No. No. Wow. Aya, you go serious, by the way. Mayolo. Yeah. Mayolo. Okay, I'm not so into sharing. I am clueless. No, it's actually English. From it's English. English. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you only live once? Really? I, I wouldn't have imagined. <laughs> I wouldn't. You <laughs> include Umepangwa, by the way, just so that you know. I know. Yeah, somebody has put it to you in, right? Yeah. Ma- 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 Matt, Matt, can you help our, 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 our Isla, our <laughs> Isla to, and to decode Mayolo? <laughs> Mayolo basically is like Nambo, right? Maju. Maju. Oh. Uh-huh. Now that it's makes more sense. India. Yeah, Mayolo. <laughs> Thank you. I have learned. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course. Our uh, only man, in a, man in a court, man in a court, <laughs> Mzewa Mafuta. <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you so much. You are most welcome to join with us. I'm um, mm-hmm. Pastor Justus, a.k.a. King Just. You are most welcome. All right. Yeah, bro, you know, you give us too much pressure with these quotes and mm. all these things, yeah. I know. Uh, and maybe, maybe, maybe one of these days we should do an, ed- an, an, an edition of Kuza where all of us are in quotes. And, and, Even the and, ladies. And, and yeah, I mean, by the ladies, actually, why, why, why don't you, as an individual, wear quotes? Well, it's just me. I am not a court person. So you can do it once for, for sure. 
For sure. Maybe. For camera, for camera Maybe. light camera. If you bribe mm. me well enough. If we bribe you. Mm. All right, we'll write a blog on bribery and right is wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't see that. <laughs> but anyway, so that is who we have today for our conversation. And as I said, we are talking about masturbation. Now, we have done several things. If you go to our website, you'll check out uh, different materials we've written on masturbation. We did one, I think, in 2020 that was about uh, Nyonga Fest. And, uh, you know, that is the other um, tar word for masturbation is to Nyonga. And so um, we, we, we did one on that and we did something else on master masturbation. Uh, so you want to read that blog as well. And uh, the one that we are probably looking at today, which is our main focus is the blog that we did on why do people masturbate i don't know do you know well we just see maybe these guys are the people leo tuko na majibu hapa kibao kwa hivyo kama nimeweka kwanza kutisikiza tafadhali tunaomba kwamba utakuwa uta 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 utakuwa na inaitwa ngaje makini utajiweka kama makini you pay attention to these conversations because many, many people are involved in this thing now as a way of introduction the bible does say in first corinthians chapter 7 now we are kuza and all our conversations are extremely biblical and so the bible does say about sexual relations and uh, the things that the feelings that we feel as paul is giving advice in first corinthians 7 he tells the husband a husband should fulfill his marital duty to his wife and likewise a wife to her husband as you guys decode masturbation i think these are some of the things that we need to know it's basic all right when it comes to sexual relations it's husband fulfill your duties to the wife and wife to the husband but also goes ahead and say in verse 5 that was verse 3 uh, 7 verse 5 he says do not deprive one another except when you agree for a time <laughs> to devote yourselves to prayer then come together again otherwise satan may tempt you because of your lack of self control do not deprive one another and the reason why we are having this conversation on masturbation is because it to a very great extent if not at 100% goes against the one anotherness of sexual intimacy mm-hmm. what is this thing mm-hmm. called masturbation maybe before that when you are talking yes. about that scripture do not deprive one another yes. you, you just reminded me uh, those times in primary school where um, young men want to have sex with ladies and one of they could try to use those scriptural uh you know uh vibes to try just to convince this lady to sleep primary together school. with them That's yes primary school. bro you know yes. we, we now want yeah, to yeah you, you know <laughs> the conversation was like bible inasema msinyimane you know ah right oh, wow wow wow, yeah, wow. Yeah. it was there ah, it was there and right. remember another argument i interacted with you in high school was like ukichukua sahani mbili safi uziweke pamoja zitabaki zikiwa si ziko safi you know Allah. And so it was like if wow. you are a Christian I'm a Christian you know and we come together then we are clean we are clean you know? we are cleaner those mm. are some of the arguments oh, man, that I crazy. interacted with you know like that's crazy mm-hmm. Anyways, yeah. I mean, anyways, by the way, as you respond to this blog post, let us know what are some of these myths that you've had surrounding the whole conversation of masturbation that we're having today and that is going to be a good thing. People, you need to help us understand what is masturbation? What is masturbation? Essentially, it's, you know, self-sex, right? Self-sex. Yeah, there's there's no one another as you hey, just read you from 1 Corinthians 7. Fire, self-sex. So, self-sex is basically what it is. All right. Yeah. And so, you know, there's this idea if you want to get in now the more formal definition, it's like a self-stimulation, you know, for the for the purposes of orgasm. You know, and so unajua ni mzungu, unaongea rada. So self-stimulation yeah. for the purposes of a gazing. Yes. I just want to reiterate that so that we yeah. Can get it. yeah. So but I think I kind of want to focus on this idea of self sex, you know, like it's a I feel this, so I want to do this for myself because okay. it'll make me feel good. Right. And so, you know, there's this that that whole mentality kind of comes into masturbation now as we move forward with this a little bit. Um I, I kind of want to dwell if it's okay a little bit on the one another. Mm-hmm. You talked about from 1 Corinthians right, 7. Right. That I think is kind of built upon a previous verse in Genesis 4:1. Mm-hmm. Uh, Genesis 4:1 it says, "Now Adam knew Eve his wife mm-hmm. and she conceived and bore Cain." Right. And so that word knew mm-hmm. um is 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 kind of the is the idea now for that word sex of, you know, one another we see a husband and a wife Adam and Eve mm-hmm. coming together outside really of any the confines of marriage between a man and a woman 
any sex is considered sin, right? right. Okay. It's a violation of kind of the purpose of what God came together mm-hmm. for. But I think this word, Adam knew, quote unquote, Eve, mm-hmm. um, that word um, knew, it comes from a Hebrew word called yada, mm-hmm. right? And that Hebrew word, if you look at it in different places throughout the, the scriptures, there's this idea of knowledge coming together mm-hmm. um, of, uh, and this idea of like pursuing knowledge about your spouse. Uh-huh. I want to know you in right. an intimate way. It's not just I want to satisfy myself and release, you know, and have an orgasm, right. you know, for, for just so I can feel good. But there's an idea of I want to get to know you, be have an intimate knowledge of you and understanding, perceive you. Mm. There's this idea behind that. And, um, and there's kind of this idea of, um, you know, first Peter three, seven says, husbands live with your wife in an understanding way. Okay. So you want to understand who she is. There's also this idea of, um, as I understand her, she wants to understand me. So, you know, I want to reveal myself to her, my thoughts, my, my, have a strong intimacy of knowledge of mm-hmm. growing to one another. Sex. So there's, 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 some, there's some, there's mutuality. Yes, exactly. So it's kind of like, um, you think in some ways it, when you're having sex, you remove your clothing and you reveal your naked body to, you know, to your spouse. Mm-hmm. And, you know, but at the same time, the Bible wants us to go beyond just the, the physical nature of just the physical body being revealed, but it's also a revealing my heart. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. You know, kind of exposing who I am to you when we grow together. Mm-hmm. You know, you think about sex comes after marriage, too. So sex is kind of a consummation of marriage in the sense of it's like um, it's a gift that God gives married couples, I think, to help them grow in knowledge of one another, okay. you know, for, in a further way of kind of really growing in intimacy together. And masturbation is the opposite of that. All right. I think a a, a, a an appetite for masturbation over and over and over again can hurt your marriage long term mm-hmm. because you develop a mentality of it's about me and what I want, how I feel. I need a release. I need an orgasm. And as opposed to I want to get to know you, I want to serve you. I want to bless you. I want to reveal myself to you as you reveal yourself to me. And you cannot do all those things by yourself to yourself. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So um, all right, all right. I mean, that's that, that's interesting. I mean, a- anything else that you guys want to jump in, Ayla? One of the things, in fact, as we as we talk about what is what is masturbation, one of the things that you probably will help us to understand in the course of this conversation <laughs> is to demystify the whole thought that masturbation is synonymous to the male gender. You know, yeah. most, honestly, most of the time, if they, when yeah. you're talking about the issue of masturbation, mm. you just think it of dudes. Yeah, dudes. Yeah. Mm. Do ladies masturbate? I think they do because places like you in our teenage years, you would hear some ladies would even talk about it. So I think probably ladies have a way of making it more secret. They don't they don't go so much out about it as okay. the men do. All right. Because I think for men, they find it as something to boast about. There's a comment in one of our blogs where someone uh, is saying that it's scientifically proven. It yeah, has yeah. benefits. So yes. that's what is going around. Hmm. And I think people are being misled. Right. So, right. yes, ladies do masturbate. Ladies do masturbate. Oh, yeah, okay. they do. Finally, mm. we have cracked. And goal. so, ladies, yeah. as you're listening, this is also for you. It's for them. Yeah, for All those right. friends of yours who are masturbating it's that true. you may not even know about. Yeah, this is something that they should also know about. Anything you're going to address. Anything you want to add on what, what I mean, any any different perspective on what is masturbation? What I mean, do you have anything that you want to add on or just to anything you guys uh, want to just chip in Kidogo and then we... We get the next question, which is, um, why do people do this thing called masturbation? So it just, is there a, just or anything that you, you want to add on what Matt has I, shared? I think from what Matt has shared, then it is evident because we are talking about the issue of self-stimulation. Yes. Uh, somebody asked us a question recently um, online about his self-satisfaction a sin. Mm. I think it's mm. a question that reached out to us. Um and uh, and Matt has explained it very well, because you know the problem that we are having is whereby um, we want to define as individuals what we think is right. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, most of us we are our own gods. We mm-hmm. are the ones who determines mm. what is right, what is wrong. Okay. And yet we don't want to live within the parameters that God has set. Right. Mm-hmm. And so even the idea of self self satisfaction, God has His own way 
of ensuring that people realize this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then we want to go outside God's boundaries uh, to focus on fulfilling whatever we want in our own way. And I think also it's it's a big issue, especially considering with the high rate of uh, uh, people who are single, single mothers. Uh, yes, I think mm-hmm. this also contributes a lot. Uh, in church, so many, of course, young people in church, not in marriage. In fact, as you're getting to the other question, there is a pastor I listened to mm. that presented a very interesting argument why people do masturbate. And he was like, um, at least it will prevent you from fornicating. <laughs> you know, that's the way he presented it. That's a lie. That's the way he argued it out. Yeah. So, and uh, that at least if you do that, then you'll not go around sleeping with ladies, you know, and such. Ah, okay. Um, yes, mm-hmm. that's the way he looked at that it. So, so, so you, might, yeah. you might as well sleep with yourself, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As though it is not it a is, sin. It's, it is. Anyways, anyway. So, mm. why, do people, why do people masturbate? Mm. So, yeah, I think from the general, just talking to young people, you'll see some trying to experiment, maybe out of watching things like pornography, which is another thing. Uh, young people are viewing such because it's easily accessible on the internet Mm -hmm. and so experimenting curiosity uh, wanting to relieve stress other people find it as a way of relieving stress which it might give uh, some relief but then it is temporary Mm -hmm. and also controlling sexual urges just like just was talked about someone thinking you will not be sleeping around but then Masturbation is still seen, as we shall see, mm. and also dealing with sexual abuse or so- soothing. So we will find that uh, masturbation really does not solve the why of these issues because they go way further mm-hmm. than the top of what. Because these are people trying to seek relief, mm. and they're going through the wrong to the wrong places. Right. And so masturbation is a wrong refuge because Col- uh, Colossians three chapter uh, verse five tells mm. us. To put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, Mm -hmm. sexual immorality, uh, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. So here we already have a new word, which Mm -hmm. is idolatry. So masturbation actually falls into the category of idolatry. Right. And an idol is that which we put in the place of God. Mm -hmm. So like I said, yeah, this is a wrong refuge. We are supposed to be running to God, the eternal, but then we go to Idol, uh, an, an idol which is now masturbation. Right. And so masturbation, just like all other sin, follows the sequence in James chapter 1, verse 14 to 15, and mm. I'll read it. Mm. Uh, but each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Uh, then desire, when it has conceived, gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. And mm. so a relentless pursuit of masturbation right. will eventually lead to death, which is eternal damnation. Wow. I mean, and just to tag on that conversation on, um, on idolatry, I think, and the, the most interesting thing is that at that point in time, when, when, we, when we say it's, it's idolatry, we need to answer the question then, who is that God, small g, that's now become the idol? Mm-hmm. to the person masturbating mm-hmm. and the answer is themselves yes i mean yes. You, you i mean and, and that you want to serve yourself you, yeah you as just as said you become your own god mm-hmm. and and so if that is idolatry then you are worshiping yourself that is i am the highest level of selfishness that you can probably exhibit to consider yourself god cognizant of the fact that you are very temporary and you must die sooner than you think i think it just that it just brings a whole a whole perspective about the whole thing of masturbation because you self, 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 what? Self, self sex, sex, you know, and, 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 and we, we need to pay attention to these words because it's idolatry. It's true. And, and the Bible, doesn't the Bible say that in first Corinthians chapter six, the Bible says what? I mean, you know, uh, every sin that one commits mm. is outside the body, but sexual sin yeah. is against yourself, your, your body. Now mm. that is sexual sin with somebody else. How much more <laughs> when it is self sex? Is there an issue? I mean, are we, and I probably the rest of us can also probably respond to this. Are we, are we having an issue with how young people and old people, just, just say this generation, because it's not a, a problem, it's not an issue with young people, it's across the, the spectrum. Is there, do we think there's a problem in how we receive and understand the whole 
conversation of God being God and idolatry. Do you think we are not paying too much attention about how terrible idolatry is and how and how amazing then God, you know, is God? I mean, what what do you guys think? So that if if I'm worshiping myself, I'm definitely losing sight of something. Are we not doing enough with our young people and our older people to help them understand the gravity of some of these things? I think that's, I feel we are not doing enough. And you see, this is the same problem we are having in the Garden of Eden, uh, whereby Eve, you know, in the temptation, God has given his own directives in terms of what he expects Adam and Eve to behave, to relate while in the garden. But then the woman, of course, she's tempted and... Um, She's told, she's painted this picture in her mind of how God is selfish, you know, mm. Mm. that he does not want you to have this knowledge. Yeah, to enjoy yourself. To enjoy, to, yeah. you know. Mm. Uh, and by that, you know, she decides to become her own authority. Uh, and this oh, is yeah, a big man. sin. I mean, no. that's, that, that's, that's, that's a very critical point. Yes, of that, she decides way. to become her own authority and to decide, you know. I, I don't want to submit anymore to what God says. I want to to do things my own. I want to experience this. I want to know it's desirable. And right. as we are seeing even in the social media, these things are so much praised. Even when they, like that person trying to talk to us, like, you know, from science, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's so much talked about sometimes even in some ways that seems very positive. Mm -hmm. And then we forget many elements, the addictive nature of masturbation. You know, we, we, we ignore so many things that plays about mm. in this whole context mm. so i think so that a big generation uh especially in our day to day uh, many people are misled by a lot of information and right. part of it greatly i'm blaming in fact with the millennials because you look at the generation before us okay um they really preserved some things you know they guarded mm. their information that could not come out there but with the millennials, from the comedy, you know, to whatever is happening out there, right. these things have been normalized. Right. And so, mm. unapata like, you know, kila mtu unasikia mambo ya remis, you know, mm, no remis and it's all true. that. And people get a very good kick out of it. People just yeah. a big laugh. But I, I think too, you know, going kind of beyond this, like, why this idea of idolatry and connected to sexual immorality, you know, we do need to teach people more about the theology of God. Like, for example, he's a God that blesses. Mm -hmm. There is joy that is found in relationship with God as opposed to don't do it, right? Yeah. You know, we have this idea yeah, of God yeah. just going to throw a lightning bolt, you know, down to you and kill you yeah, if you yeah. do some mm -hmm. sin. But I think we're also missing out. There's a lot of blessings in honoring the Lord and fearing the Lord. Like mm -hmm. one scripture in particular is in Hebrews 12, uh, verses 15 through 17. It says this. It says, do not be sexually unmoral or unholy like Esau, who sold his birthright for a single meal. For you know that afterwards, he when he desired to inherit the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no chance to repent, though he sought it with tears. Right. Esau traded away his birthright for a bowl of soup, mm -hmm. right? From that that Jacob was making. Yeah. And you know, there what, what the writer of Hebrews is doing is kind of linking the sexual, sexually immoral sins together with this bowl of soup, right? Mm -hmm. A single meal. And so the truth is, the bowl of soup is like this. You know, it 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 smells good. And it tastes good, but it's temporal. And then tomorrow, Neo Koju, I'm an Imafi. You know what I mean? Let me just be to say the truth, right? But like in the, in the moment, it's <laughs> nice. You didn't see Ukoju, ni Mukoju. Mukoju, Poli. It's urine. Such is on it. Poli is on it. Mukoju. It sounds like Tamarind, Ukoju. Listen. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's urine or it's mafi, Kesha, right? That's what I'm trying to get at. And so the thing is, it's, it is it is a blessing in the temporal, but in the long term, it's not. But Esau, you think about what he traded away was 
the blessings of Abraham and Isaac oh, yeah. were to come yeah. to him as the firstborn, as the firstborn mm-hmm. and to go for generations right. down to his family line. True. But he traded away for a single meal, a bowl of soup. And so the thing is, he's linking this with sexual sin. It does. It, there is longer lasting, more superior blessings found in obedience to God mm-hmm. than the temporal blessings of sexual sin. Right. And so right. I think we need to make sure young people understand this. Like mm-hmm. like another like an yeah. example of this, a simple one. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Mm-hmm. There's an element of seeing God in your life, like his hand, his blessing, his everything in your life, mm-hmm. if you remain pure. And there's a blessing that comes with that. Right. And so I think we need mm-hmm. to teach people, you know, you're basically saying this temporal thing is so awesome to the point that we make it an idol and it's and we mm. we push away the blessing that right. God can give us as long term and long lasting. That's interesting. Mm. I mean, and, and Jonathan Edwards uh, rightly said it. The problem with us is that we are far too easily pleased. Yeah, we are far too easily pleased. We are we are too excited about very small things. Mm. And, and and he gives an example of it's like a child being excited with a puddle of water on the streets because. He does not know what a holiday in Hawaii looks like. Sounds like C.S. Lewis said something you similar. Know, you know, I, 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 and, and <laughs> I think it's C.S. Lewis. Lewis. No, it should be C.S. Lewis, not, not Edward. I mean, and I mm. think that, that, that thing is, yeah, I'm, I'm excited with a wire toy of car because I don't know what it means to drive in a car. Mm. Uh, so it, 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 it blows my mind. I think that's the same thing then we come, mm. uh, you know, as we're having these conversations on sex. And people, yeah. uh, with the realities of, of, of the fallacy and the... Uh, just the emptiness uh, in this thing called masturbation is real. But of course, I, and, and, and we, we would rightly say the, the glories of the sanctity of sex are hidden for the mind that is fallen and rebellious. So that you will probably not fully understand mm. why it is critical that you, we do not become our own gods. We do not become our own satisfaction. Mm. Uh, we will understand that if we know just how much we have in God. But because mm. we think we are God, then we think we have all that much. Yeah, that's powerful. Mm. Repeat yeah. that again. The glory. <laughs> that, that's powerful. <laughs> I, I like it. <laughs> well, to be just a video, then I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that came and went like that. Yeah, you rewind. <laughs> we rewind. <laughs> Part of it is is I'm my mentality of I know how to bless myself better than God knows how to do it. Mm. There's that rebellion, I think, that comes mm-hmm. into that as right. a form of idolatry. Mm. I know I know what I need more than what God does, mm-hmm. you know, and so there's there's that's that's the problem, I think. Does, we forget we yes. are just human beings, mm-hmm. fallen, misled. Our hearts are deceitful from Jeremiah, mm. as we are told. So we forget that easily. We get right. blinded. And it's sad because we get to miss out on the very good things that God has in store for us. And sometimes uh, Christ tells us that his commands are not burdensome. So we find God's commands to be burdensome because we do not understand the good that is in store in those commands. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Maybe we need to consider having a writing a a blog on one of of the things that I think I've, I've, over time I've, I've come to question is this follow your heart kind of thing oh. uh, in its totality because <laughs> then if my heart is deceitful beyond all things, then mm. following my heart is the greatest mistake Folly. ever. Mm. Yeah, especially if my heart is not conquered by the king. Mm. We need to f- to start landing this plane. To not need to talk cloud three, just that you <laughs> look like you want to say something. So I, I, I just want thing, to add this about right. does uh-huh. it satisfy? Yes. Uh, but before that, I wanted to say we need to make resolution like Moses. Hebrews whereby he says, you know, he rather uh, suffer along with God's people than enjoy the pleasures of sin for the a little fleeting, while. Fleeting yes. pleasures of sin. For a yeah. little while. You yeah, know? yeah. And uh, so I think we need to make those resolutions. Right. There, there is a greater blessing in fighting for purity, keeping purity. Mm. You, you don't have past memories to struggle with guilt, shame, right, right, you know, right. you approach God with confidence mm. that, you know, there is nothing that is barring you. Right. From Fo- focus on the blessings that mm. God will give you as opposed to the temporal blessings of sin. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, and They're not really blessings you. even. <laughs> well, yeah. when I, it's true. I, I, what I'm saying is temporal as in, I think we, we do acknowledge the fact that masturbation is something that people do find enjoyable or otherwise they wouldn't do it. Mm-hmm. Right. But the problem is it lasts that yeah. long. Yeah. yeah. You I mean, know, yeah, the, it's, the, the pleasures of sin are short lived. Right? Yeah. Yes. Anyways, uh, 
Mm. We need to land the plane. Just yes. Uh, uh, one, does yes. it satisfy? Does it satisfy? Let us, I'll just pick it Do from you here. Know? But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's speaking from Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Allow me to pick it from, from I, the I'm, I'm tempted to ask you like that, that, that Ugandan guy you are seeing. Okay. Are you, are you, are you gay? <laughs> Why are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> just, I, do you know? <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> Let me pick it from the bowl of sp- soup <laughs> that uh, Matt was yeah, discussing yeah, yeah, yeah. about. <laughs> um, I think when we think of anything that is um, desires of the flesh, be it food, be it those issues of sexual immorality, masturbation, Anything we think about in terms of the desires of the flesh. One thing that we agree is that just because I ate in the morning doesn't mean I'm eternally full. I will not want to eat during lunchtime or during evening or, you know, tomorrow. And this is one of those enticing things when it comes to the desires of the flesh that you, you know, you are just captured at that moment thinking that you get an eternal satisfaction out of it. Mm. But you realize that you do it now, tomorrow you'll want it, another day you'll yeah, want it. Yeah, yeah, a- yeah. And then mm. before you realize it becomes a stronghold in your life right. yeah. that you are really battling and wondering how do I get, become free, you know, from this kind of an enslavement. Mm. Mm-hmm. A- and so that alone tells us that, uh, you know, there is no that satisfaction that comes with practicing sin. Right. And uh, it just leads to enslavement. And you live with uh, guilt because mm. um, there is no one time that, you know, just because Esso took that bowl of soup doesn't mean that, you know, he exchanged his eternal blessings with something that is temporal, like you, right. you know, you explained. Right. Mm. Uh, so I think uh, from where I stand, we cannot really say that, you know, it satisfies and fortunately it just leads to shame mm. guilt right you know um especially if you are walking with the lord uh it becomes even very worse because you'll find yourself running far and far and far away from god like adam mm. and Eve hiding right right mm. no because hiding the shame, from the shame god that you have constantly mm. uh when you come to the presence of the lord and you're interacting with brothers and you know exactly yeah, yeah. and the guilt mm. so i i think um maybe as we connect this in terms of even the way forward mm. let us ask ourselves what leads you to masturbation like we began with that question why do people masturbate mm-hmm. and then you ask yourself you know how can you replace those needs if like for example you are talking about stress are there other ways to manage stress if you are suffering from low self esteem and you want acceptance is there something, is there a way that you can be able to fill that void? Mm, okay. Whatever issues that are leading you to perform that, because nature hates vacuum. You can't just say, I will stop, and then you don't want to replace that with mm. something else. Nature hates vacuum. Yes. Brother, you're spitting wisdom. Like, mm-hmm. so, yeah. uh, so I think it is important that um, if it is about stress, it's good for us in our walk with God, get to understand that God has given you a family in terms of, you know, the believers, mm. Uh, mm-hmm. There are people you can go open up your heart to, your right. struggles, right. the things that you are going through as an individual. And uh, if so that at least from that family, mm. uh, you are able to get assistance on so many issues. Mm. And uh, if you don't feel like, you know, you are loved by people and you feel you just want to enclose yourself and satisfy yourself, yes. I think it is important to appreciate about God's love for you. You know, the things of faith, one thing I've enjoyed is that um, the deeper you are in the things of God, the more you enjoy mm. salvation and even the blessings that come with it. Right. But as long as you remain shallow here, that's why you realize that many of us get, even Christians, we are getting into very petty conversations, trying to justify our own sins because mm. we have mm. not gotten deeper to realize the deep things of God. Right. Uh, the satisfaction, the fulfillment that comes with worshiping, loving God, mm. you know, getting to know him more. So we just remain superficial, our talks, mm. uh, we tend to justify our own sins. So to me, I'll call us that uh, I think it is important. We desire to get deeper in the things of God and know right. this God more. All right. Yes. Mm. Justice, thank you. Uh, my yellow guy, you are landing the plane. Uh, final thoughts. I just want to encourage if anybody's here and you're listening to this or watching this, 
Um, and you may feel that, well, I just can't stop masturbating and I just afraid that I have no blessings for God that remain from me. That's not true. Um, God is a forgiving God. Um, we, you know, his, his grace and mercy are there for us. Repent, come to him, admit to him that you cannot stop doing this. I need help, God. Mm-hmm. And I'll rem- remind yourself too, if you're born again, um, the Holy Spirit is inside of you. The Holy Spirit now, according to Galatians 5, 23, can provide you self-control. Right. It is possible for you to overcome that. There is no mm. sin which is stronger than God. Mm. There is no sin which temptation is too strong for you to overcome. Right. The Lord can provide a way for you. There mm. is none that is stronger than the Lord. Mm-hmm. Isla, Isla. Yeah. So just keep looking to God for those stresses or uh, maybe it's, if it's sexual abuse or anything that you went through in the past. Just remind yourself that God truly cares for you and is asking you to take your burdens to him. Mm-hmm. His yoke is light. And yeah, even if you've already done masturbation, he, he has not rejected you. He does not reject you. He still, if you are in Christ, if you're not, then you need to come to Christ. He will accept you and he will help you through that and give you relief. Uh, he frees the slaves of sin mm-hmm. and he died for our sins. So he's ready to free you from your sin. So just put your trust in him and look to him. Amazing. Yes. Well, people, it is said that the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. And one of the greatest hindrances for growth or of growth is our previous successes. And this is the thing. If you start the journey of growing in freedom, um, masturbation or whatever thing it is, do not be so excited that yesterday you overcame it and that was it. Yesterday is gone. When you wake up every morning, the Bible reminds us that the masses of the Lord, they are new every morning. And so every new morning you wake up is a day to fight afresh, to fight afresh. If I didn't, if you start today, make the decision today, get brothers, as we've been told, get people that can hold you accountable. Fight today, go to bed, sleep, wake up in the morning, forget about yesterday, fight again today. Do that until the Lord calls you home otherwise do not be caught up in this interesting lie that we most of us are putting oh matter science matter this it, it, it is sad that we can get our hearts to be the most precious point of wisdom beyond scripture mm-hmm. and the bible does tell us in jeremiah chapter 2 verse 13 that god says my people have committed a very grievous sin it says double evil they have abandoned me the fountain of living waters and they have hewn for themselves cisterns broken cisterns mm-hmm. that can hold no water That is what masturbation is. That is what sexual immorality is. It is a broken system that can hold no water. Mm -hmm. It can't hold any water. And so I pray that you look to Christ. As every one of us has said here, turn to Christ. That old hymn tells us, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full into his wonderful, glorious face. And the things of earth will will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace his mercy is more his mercy is there for you and so victory is here jesus christ is alive he's risen he's not on the cross he's not in the grave he's up in heaven interceding for us therefore it is possible for us to walk free of this thing called masturbation isla or call thank you so much for being with us here today mm-hmm. my yellow guy one and only matthew or more thank you so much for being here ends one and only suit guy our one and only pastor <laughs> just as king just we appreciate we appreciate you guys mm-hmm. from the uh, from the kuza 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 studios we are very excited my name is rev mavo mavo pauline or oh, mavo me uh please be reminded download the kuza app please go to your phone download it Check out the Easter devotions. Let us know what you think about it. And see you next time. We are out of here. Thank you for listening to the Kuza podcast. Brought to you by kuzaapp.com. An online ministry with blogs, videos, podcasts, and a mobile app. Make sure, to make, make, make sure to subscribe to get more content to help you grow spiritually.